Good morning, Cedar Park High School. It's Thursday, March 12th, and it's a B-Day. I'm Ellen Neal. And I'm Jack Paulschuk, in for Evan Vines. On today's show, we have a feature on our receptionist, Mrs. Lisa, details on what LISD is doing about the coronavirus, a highlight of what softball is doing for military appreciation. Plus, your top three things, a new T-Wolf spotlight and your TikTok of the week. Let's jump in because the Wolfcast starts now. You always see her when you first walk in. She's the first face of Cedar Park High. She's Miss Lisa, also known as Miss Sinonicon. Our executive producer, Ariana Lipkin, is one of her student aides and wanted to shine a light on her. Ariana? Yes, I do. I've gotten to know Miss Lisa over the past year and a half, and I want everyone to know what she really does around the school and what a bright light she is. Miss Sinonicon, better known as Miss Lisa, is the person who lets parents, mailmen, and students in through the newly renovated front office. But working in the front desk isn't the only thing she does. Coach Kirkendall told me how caring she is towards the coaches. Hey, what does Ms. Lisa do around the school? Uh, it seems like everything. Um, she takes care of the coaches for sure. Takes care of the kids. Always kids say good things about her. They make her, She makes their day over and over again. They say good things about her. And senior Lindsay Elford shares a special moment she shared with Ms. Lisa. Take a look. So um, I'm going on a mission trip the next couple days, and um, I just reached out to her to kind of partner with me with this trip. And, you know, she was, I didn't expect a lot, especially since, you know, she is a part of the school, but she really um, put a lot forward in partnering with me and um, just supporting me and letting me know, like, I do have her support going on this trip and you know I'm not alone going on this trip so really it makes me feel a lot more comfortable and just appreciative. Miss Lisa is described as sweet, caring, and nice by almost everyone she knows. Not only is she a part of the CPHS family but her kids also attended Cedar Park High School. I asked her what it's like being a part of the Cedar Park family for so long. My kid for swimmers um, I guess since like 2000 I don't know, my son graduated 2014, so a few years before that, um, being on booster clubs and then just coming up here and volunteering for banquets and helping out in the counseling office. I mean, I just always loved the environment, loved the teachers, the staff, and it's, it's just some person I always enjoyed being and always like to help out because I have a lot of respect for the staff and um, for everybody that deals with kids on a daily basis, and you know, we just appreciate you know, we just appreciate them so much. Something Miss Lisa also is passionate about is baking. Almost every Friday, there are brownies and treats that staff and aides get to enjoy, just to show how appreciative she is of their work. This tradition not only lasts throughout the school year for student aides, but throughout football season for coaches and players. Well, I mean, I have a lot of aides that work for me in the front office, and I know teenagers love to eat sweets. And um, so I just, I don't know, I, it's just kind of like an appreciation just to show them that you know, we appreciate them too, and just, um, just making something special for them. And also during the fall, I was also making them for the football team every Friday. As long as they won, every Friday they would get um, brownies also. So it just kind of became some kind of a tradition also. So and I just enjoy doing it. As Kirkendall says. And she always makes her, she makes us brownies. She makes us winter brownies. Brownies are for winners. Brownies are for winners, and Miss Lisa sure is a winner at CPHS. Everything that Miss Lisa does, I'm so appreciative of her and how she treats not only me, but the whole staff and student body. Make sure if you see her in the front office, you say thank you. We really do appreciate her. Leon ISD is canceling all out-of-state travel in response to the COVID-19 pandemic. In an announcement sent out last night, the district said they are following national and state guidelines on how to manage the outbreak. The district also asks anyone traveling over spring break on their own to adhere to CDC travel restrictions. In an address from the Oval Office last night, President Trump also took action banning travel from Europe for at least 30 days. We will be suspending all travel from Europe to the United States for the next 30 days. The new rules will go into effect Friday at midnight. Anything coming from Europe to the United States is what we are discussing. These restrictions will also not apply to the United Kingdom. 
Again, please make sure you continue to wash your hands and seek medical attention if you show any symptoms, including fever, shortness of breath, and coughing. On Monday, softball will hold its first Armed Forces and First Responders Appreciation Night during their home game versus Rouse. The team plans to honor the Armed Forces and First Responders by handing out flags and recognizing everything both the Armed Forces and First Responders do for the community. Head coach Cammie Jensky said that this night is a special night as first responders saved her life years prior. So we decided to honor our veterans and our first responders and we have several parents who are either policemen, state troopers, and many who have served in the military and it's just something we wanted to do. So we're just inviting them, they're going to get in free and we're going to have some, I think little, the little flags maybe to pass out. Um, we're just excited about it, just to recognize them and let them come in free and to announce them and our appreciation over the speakers for them. CPHS News Sports Director Addie Bates will have a full recap of the event after the break. Coming up next are your top three things. But first, a word from our sponsor. Smokey Moe's Barbecue, the best barbecue that money can buy. Proudly supporting Cedar Park High School. Good morning, Cedar Park. I'm Justin Bohr, and here are the top three things you need to know this morning. First, the NBA says that a player from the Utah Jazz has tested positive for the COVID-19 coronavirus. The league will also be suspending the games until further notice. Next, President Trump announced a ban on travelers to the United States from Europe would be in place for the next 30 days in an attempt to stop the spread of coronavirus pandemic. Finally, Tom Hanks and his wife, Rita Wilson, have tested positive for the coronavirus. Both have been down in Australia for the pre-production of a film. I mean, this coronavirus, Justin, is literally it's, getting everyone. It's, it's affecting the whole world right now. I mean, now. that's and all, crazy. And all that news that just got announced all happened in 30 minutes last night. And then no time way. Time 30 minutes, yeah. Wow. I mean, it's just like this, like, we, you know, you know like we were kind of like, oh, it's not that big of a deal, but... Mm -hmm. No, I it, mean, it's yeah. It's, I mean, like first they canceled South by Southwest, yeah. and now it's the NBA. Exactly. I mean, well, soon it's yeah. They, they canceled yeah. South by Southwest. Everyone's like, that's so stupid. But now it's it's looking like it's a like, smarter move. Tom Hanks. Yeah. I mean, it's crazy. He got it in Australia. That's yeah. like wow. Well, thanks, Justin. Up next is a new T Wolf spotlight. Abby Martinez speaks to Kylie Kernet about CPHS lacrosse. But first, these announcements. Good morning, CPHS. I'm Abby Martinez, and welcome back to the TO Spotlight. This morning, I'm joined by CPHS lacrosse player and dance rising star, Kylie Kernet. So, Kylie, how has lacrosse been going this year? It's been really good. JV's won almost all their games. We've only tied one game, and that was against Lake Travis. And we've been working really hard. We've had a lot of practices. When we don't have practice, we try to get out and do something with the team, team bonding, something like that. Um, how big is the team? The team is about 30 girls. It's combined from Cedar Park, Vista Ridge, Rouse, Leander, and then we have some girls from Savio. Um, how has it been getting to know everybody on the team? It's been really good. I was scared at first because I was new to the sport and I didn't know anybody on the team, but they're actually all really nice and really supportive and we're all willing to help each other. We're all there for each other. That's great. And I also know you're a rising star for celebrities, so how has that been this year? It's been really fun. I'm glad that I joined the dance community, that I decided to do that. We've been working on our two routines for spring show that's coming up in April, so that's been really fun. And how has it been managing both those this school year? It's been okay. It gets a little hard sometimes. I have to look at my weeks in advance, figure out if I need to talk to my directors or coaches or anything like that to figure out my schedule and how it will work around both of them. But it's been pretty good so far. And are you going to do both those next year too? Yes, I'm going to try to do both those next year. <laughs> and anything else you want to say to the community of Cedar Park? Uh, come out and see our game next Thursday. We're playing St. Mike's Varsities at 6.30 and then JV's at 8.00. Thank you, Kylie. That's all we have for TO Spotlight today with CBHS News. I'm Abby Martinez. Thanks, Abby. Now it's time for our favorite part of the week, TikTok of the week. This week's TikTok comes from senior Evan Vine, showing his creative side behind the scenes. Hey. I found your vibe, and I, and I found my high, yeah. Let's touch the sky, I'm a, I'm a change your life, yeah.
Thank you, Evan, for the video. To be featured on TikTok of the Week, you can submit your TikTok on our Google form, which you can find on the CPHS Wolfpack website. That's all we have for today. Remember, you can catch anything you missed on today's show on our YouTube channel. Just search CPHS News. And make sure to catch the Wolfcast tomorrow for a story tracking the spread of the coronavirus. Your top three things, a sports report. An episode of Addy Attempts, a hype video, and a new installment of Weekend Destinations. With CPHS News, I'm Ellen Neal. I'm Jack Paulshook. Remember to make it a great day or not. The choice is yours.